Hi, I'm Mitch. And I'm Carlin. And this is our healthy vlog lifestyle. And we're having a downhill skiing adventure. What a wonderful day. First time in years. 12 years. It's incredible. We're having a great time and our kids are naturals. All right, friends, we're on our way, heading to the slopes. The slopes, the slopes. Ski slopes. The ski slopes. Yeah, it's too many syllables. Let's make it one. So, slopes. Slopes, we're going to the slopes. So this morning I've been preparing by watching as many skiing fails as I can, hoping that I don't fail. We'll give you some actual clips of how we do at the hill today. So would you say, Mitch, that we're living our best life? Oh, definitely. I know. Like, today was a good day. Today was awesome. We woke up, we had our breakfast. We didn't even wake up early. We slept in knowing that we have big activity planned for today. And we hung out until just before lunch, but we had made a picnic to take with us. And we headed to the ski slopes and it was awesome. Yeah, we couldn't have asked for a better day. It was The weather was perfect. The conditions on the hill were phenomenal. Yeah. We haven't been skiing or snowboarding for 12 years, but we used to go all the time. Like we had our own skis, our own snowboards, still do, thankfully. So we dusted them off out of the attic or wherever. They were in the storage shed. The storage shed. Same thing, <laughs> different place. And we went to the ski hill and it was, like Mitch said, so good. And it, nobody it, went to the hospital at the right. end. It was our kids' first time downhill skiing and we had booked lessons for them, a private lesson. And then they got their private lesson and Mitch and I could go off and ski some of the harder slopes while they're learning. Yeah. And, but we were there early, so Cara and I spent some time trying to teach the kids, more, more so Carlin, because she skis. But they were so natural at it. They just caught on right away. Like it's, I said, don't cross your skis. And I showed them how to snow plow and then talked about how to turn and they just caught on and they nailed it and we had a great day. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't without like, we're happy we didn't end up in the ambulance or have to go to the hospital or anything like that. But Mitch had a wipeout. Yeah, I had one wipeout. It's one where <laughs> I wish, I wish I would have been able to see it from a drone. somebody else's perspective or if there was a drone following me, but um, when I used to, when we used to ski and snowboard more often, I was much better than I am now and um, I tried doing something that I used to be able to do and just as I was approaching like the the hill that I was going to go up, I thought to myself, I don't think I'm ready for this and I think that <laughs> hesitation like it got to me and I, I caught my toe edge and ended up rolling over my shoulder and then sliding down on my back for quite some time. Yeah. I was with the kids at the time yeah. because the lesson only covered one hour. So I had to stay with the kids and Mitch was going up and down the hills on his own yeah. at this point. And yeah, as I was laying there on my back, just, uh, you know, doing a quick little assessment if I got hurt or not, this guy like, slid in towards me and he stops and he's, you okay? I was like, yep. Yeah. He gave me a thumbs up and he's like, all right, I just snowboarded off. And but it's yep. amazing how it's like a bike. It just comes back yeah, to Yeah, that's you. it. The, the 12 first, years. The first down the bunny hill with the kids when we got there, I was like, I fell a couple times, just lost balance and stuff. But then, then it comes like, back. Oh, yeah. I fell off of the magic carpet, this little pulley thing. That, <laughs> yeah, it's a little conveyor I was telling belt that, the guy. that moves super slow. And all you have to do is just slide onto it. That was the only time I fell. It was right at the beginning. My knee held up, but it made me aware, like, don't push it, Carlin, because you had surgery once on your knee. You don't want to do that again. So I made sure to be more cautious for the rest of the day. <laughs> Started off with a, let's just get this over with, I guess, the fall. And then, yeah, it did, it did come back to me. The more we went, and it was great even just to hang out on the bunny hill for most of the day with the kids. I'm so happy that they got to do the big hill and yeah. that we got time to yeah, do our were, big, it was just the perfect day and. Yeah, their instructor, when when we met with him at the start, 
he said he'll take them on the bunny hill, see where they're at. And then he's like, you know, based on how they do, we might take them up to the, up the chair. And we're like, okay. And they did yeah, great. We, uh, Cara and I went up the chair on our own because he said we were free to go. And when we got back, we, we took a path that went alongside the bunny hill and we didn't see them there. And we're like, oh, oh they, they went up be, the big hill. They must be on the big hill. So we went back up again and we actually ended up seeing them on our way down. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Yeah. So we asked ourselves when we got home, we're like, so would you say we're living our best lives right now? And we agree. Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah. When we can go and have a wonderful day like this, that is lucky. That is fortunate and that's a good life. Friends, well, it was a terrific day. Nobody was injured and we burnt a lot of energy. So I was supposed to show you our salads that we were gonna eat before we ate them, but we were ravenous. So I have a couple of crumbs of my salad left, some chicken and you know, when you pre-plan, then you're not gonna go into the chalet and buy French fries and chicken fingers and all that and it feels amazing a great day of exercise followed by good eats what an amazing day and nobody headed to the hospital so victory that was a concern what's there's mitch having his carrots and cucumbers did i miss our turn no Is that what you said no oh. so overall how did you Enjoy the day, Mitch. Um, I loved it. It, was, it took a little bit of time to get used to being on the snowboard again, but it was like riding a bike. It was totally it was comparable to riding a bike. I was a little nervous, a little wobbly on my skis after 12 year hiatus. It was awesome and it does just come back to you, kind of like riding a bike. Your muscles remember, even if you don't because man when we were driving up here like trying to think of some of our last key things like that memory file was gone what a great great day with lots of sunshine my mom so I phoned her when we were done and she's like you got sunburned I don't know if it's sunburned but yep my face is red it was great my quads are angry my quads are angry I'll feel it tomorrow the other thing we need to tell you right now is that we have to cut back our vlogs. So we've been doing three times a week, but I just took on a big project at work that's gonna take quite a bit of time. So we're cutting back to two days a week and we're moving our vlogs to Saturdays and Wednesdays. So we'll be uploading twice a week still. So you'll get your fill of us and we'll be able to connect with you guys but look out for our new videos every Saturday and Wednesday. So we won't have a Thursday video this week. We'll just jump right into it on Saturday. On that note, take care, brush your hair. Yeah, we'll see you on Monday. No, today's Monday. <laughs> we'll see you next Monday. No, next this Saturday. Saturday right? oh, we, we'll get used to it. Take two. Okay. Take on that note, Take care, brush your hair. And we'll see you Saturday. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Benson, last run.